Okay, so the first disease in hemolytic anemia in case of extravascular hemolysis is hereditary spherocytosis. This is autosomal dominant disease, that means congenital. Where is the problem? Here the red blood cells, the problem in the red blood cells where? The problem in the membrane. So it is congenital membrane problem in red blood cells autosomal dominant. What kind of membrane? Usually protein, protein which is composed of membrane called a protein defect like ankyrin. This is the, this is the most important protein or spectrin. We call this we call this cytoskeletal okay cytoskeletal structure of red blood cells. So if I will ask you what are the, what are the problem in case of hereditary spherocytosis, you will you will tell me it is cytoskeletal membrane defect autosomal dominant or you can tell me it is hereditary because it is autosomal dominant hereditary erythrocyte membrane defect so hereditary erythrocyte membrane defect or cytoskeletal abnormality of red blood cells because you will not see in a question here hereditary spherocytosis you will see as hereditary membrane defect or hereditary cytoskeletal membrane abnormality which basically the same as hereditary spherocytosis what is the result of this membrane abnormality usually this membrane abnormality is lead to the dysfunctional dysfunctional in na k atpas okay that's mean an atpas pump that's mean this red blood cells are more susceptible in increase or in increase permeability of red blood cells to NA and K or NA and water sorry how let's make this by simple paragraph here is the here is the hypotonic solution okay here is one and here is zero. I mean one concentration and zero concentration, whatever the concentration is. Usually in normal patient, if you will, if you will, if you will put the red blood cells in hypotonic, this is usually in normal patient. Now here will lead to the, at one, at one concentration, one mic, one whatever, at one concentration, red blood cells will get rupture, but in hereditary spherocytosis, but in hereditary spherocytosis patient, usually in Less than one, maybe here it is not zero, sorry, here it is 0 0.5. If you will put red blood cells in 0 0.5 solution, here leads to the red blood cells rupture. So why red blood cells now ruptured in less hypotonic solution than normal? That means there is a problem in the membrane because red blood cells membrane increase permeability to water and NAL and to water and sodium. That means red blood cells is more sensitive to hypotonic solution. And so here, red blood cell rupture in mild hypotonic solution. Okay. What this test called? This test called is osmotic fragility test. So osmotic fragility test in case of hereditary is increased. Why? Because red blood cells is ruptured in mild in mild hypotonic solution. If you will a normal patient Red blood cells will not rupture here in normal patient and in normal patient also red blood cells may rupture here in more concentration but in case of hereditary cytosis you will rupture in mild hypotonic solution because there is a problem with the membrane and NAK, NAK TPS pump problem that's mean more permeability to water and sodium. So what else? Usual in hereditary spherocytosis, this is this is the kind of the cell. It is usual the cell is smaller because there is a problem with the membrane and no central pallor. Okay, no central pallor. Usually, usually it is smaller and round. So this characteristics which is round, no central pallor, we call this as MCHC increase. So this MCHC means mean corpuscular 
hemoglobin concentration is increased basically i think it is more than 36 in case of hereditary spherocytosis why because there is no central pallor and hemoglobin concentration here increase and round cells no membrane so it looks like the whole cell stuck together okay so these are the features of hereditary spherocytosis what else as a result of cytoskeletal abnormality you will see now two things either no central pallor round mhc more than 36 with sorry not either you will see this is the one thing you will see and the other thing as a result of this abnormal red blood cells so guess what this is abnormal now it now abnormal red blood cells so what is the next of any abnormal red blood cells again by macrophages in the spleen or macrophage in spleen or river that means it's phagocyte now the hemolytic process all of these what I, what i'm talking for the for the first five or six minutes there is no hemolytic process now i begin to talk about the hemolytic process the hemolytic process usually begin from here as a result of abnormal red blood cells macrophages will see red blood cells engulf red blood cells lead to three things okay lead to three things what what the end result you will see as a result of splenic macrophages functioning very well to engulf the abnormal red blood cells so as a result you will see splenomegaly okay this is first other things this is extravascular process macrophages in red blood cells releasing him out so unconjugated bilirubin we talked about this in the previous video which is jaundice as a result of chronic hemolysis usually in every patient in a chronic hemolysis the end will be what an increase calcium bilirubinate goldstone okay these are the main consequences of hereditary spherocytosis an increased calcium bilirubinate goldstones as a result of chronic hemolysis and conjugated bilirubinase splenomegaly how you treat splenomegaly treatment of splenomegaly in case of hereditary spherocytosis is splenectomy okay can you tell me what other features maybe these are general features for hereditary spherocytosis you will see here two things which i talked about this before first you will see anemia that's mean blood film there is in a blood film a hemoglobin not in the blood cells, the hemoglobin concentration may be less than 9 or 10, whatever. Again, in the blood film, what you will see, you will see reticulocyte count more than, or our corrected reticulocyte count more than 3%. Please don't forget this. Hemoglobin, second stage reticulocyte count more than 3%. Congenital cytoskeletal abnormality or membrane problem autosomal dominant is hereditary spherocytosis how about the consequences of hereditary spherocytosis i can ask you if if uh, i can ask you patients come with jaundice chronic jaundice so it is unconjugated bilirubin patients come from chronic hemolysis with right-sided iliac fossa pain so it is goldstone it is goldstone disease calcium bilirubinate goldstone okay spleen usually splenomegaly the treatment is splenectomy okay